This is the bush sunflower in Celia, California. Is that right? Correct. But what I wanted to show you here is all these, these are all flowers, all these many, many, I don't know, countless, well, they're probably not countless, but a lot of florets right here in the center. That's the disc flowers. And you see some of these are ready to be touched by an insect, pollinated. And the others will come ready as time moves on. Now, Margaret, these these are not fertile flowers, right? Even though each one is a flower. That's correct. But they're the, sterile. Those are the, the, the sterile red flowers. Mm. And if you uh, hold the, the back so that you can see the back, you'll see the involucres. The involucres. What is an involucre? Well, is, uh, the involucre is the, all the collection of what are bracts, but here they're called fillories that are, are collected together. Well, you've used a couple of words that many of us may not be familiar with. So bract, what is a bract and what is a fillery? They're both modified leaves. They're both modified leaves. So I guess a bract is a modified leaf and a fillery is a modified bract. <laughs> and the shape is fairly distinctive. So what do we have here? Here we've got the sea dahlia. Leptocyne maritima. And again, we've got the, the ray flowers and the disc flowers. And are these ray flowers sterile too? No, these uh, ray flowers are fertile. So they actually have they will produce a, a stigma and they have a stigma. They don't have um, male parts. <laughs> They're just female. Just female. But the so disc flowers are hermaphrodite. The shape of these gray flowers resembles that of the bush sunflower, or? Correct. Um, they've, they've got the, the three little lobes at the end of, of each ligule. Each ligule? A ligule this, being? This is the, the long piece of it. Okay. So one notable difference is the disc, which is the different light color, color different right. color. What about the involucre? Is that the same or different? It's quite different. Oh, it is quite different. How would you describe this? Um, kind of like a multi-pointed star. <laughs> They're not as tightly. I don't remember what the others fused. Right, they were they were several layers of them, whereas right. it's one layer okay. here. Okay. But they're still the the uh, uh, fillories. And and the other thing which I can see if you look at the whole plant is the foliage, the foliage which is, is quite, quite distinctive. Different. It's kind of fleshy. And you mentioned the so-called petals. If I were a bee, I could really be attracted to that and, and be led in. I could be attracted to it even not being a bee. <laughs> These are quite plentiful in the reserve, um, but they're not actually plentiful in general, right? That's correct. The saying is that they must see the ocean and their habitat just spreads slightly into Baja and not far up the coast at all. So there's very little habitat left for it. So it's a threatened plant. Oh, here we have a tidy tips. So here's a, a yellow flower, but it's also got white in it. Right. This is, this is a tidy tip. Tidy tip. The ray flowers, but they're yellow with white tips. And then the disc flowers are the usual yellow. And they're sort of toothy on the ends, aren't they? You see it more readily here. Mm. The, the ligules generally are three-toothed. And if we look at the underside? Yes. Again, it's different from all of the ones that we've looked at. But it still has the involucre. Do they tend to grow more solitary? They are. They're, they're single flowered, just like the sea dahlia. Yeah. Okay, so, so here are a couple of different 
yellow flowers, but they, they actually look a bit different. So um, what, what are we seeing here? This is ground cell. Common See, ground cell. Common ground cell. It's a much so, smaller flower than the sea dahlia. So the sea dahlia is up it's there. right there. And look at its foliage. The sea dahlia's foliage, and then look at this foliage. It's quite different. And this is in, uh, an inflorescence of composite. Yeah, see, from the, from the single stem, we've got all these flowers. Well, all right, they're not flowers. What are they? Heads. All of these heads, right? And there we have a single head on a stem. So once again, we come upon a bunch of yellow flowers, but the poppies are easy to pick out. These are orange, they're not composites. And here we have some composites. Uh, look like little daisies, but what are they? These are common gold fields. Common gold fields, so we haven't so seen these So when you far. get a lot, you see it's like a field of gold. But these are the, the common gold fields and they have the kind of lance leaf uh, shaped leaf and they have the composite flower. And the, the ray flowers to me look different than the ground sole. They're shorter and they're, um, they're short and broader, tight. but they, they, they have the three lobules. And, and the, they, the discs the, also look like they're popping up a little bit, maybe yes. compared to ground sole. Probably more as the uh, flower, and there's the involucre. Here, the the uh, disc flowers, a few have flowered, but the the centre hasn't at all. But as in this one, they've almost all flowered. <laughs> 